Most touch sensors can only do this, but what we can do is literally an arbitrary number of points, an infinite number of points. Every pixel here is actually a touch sensor as well. It's running a, a new piece of software, and it's got some uh, scanning uh, cameras down here at the bottom. And how is actually your, the, the, the pressure and the, the touch detected? Is it through infrared cameras in the No, there, not or? at all. It's uh, our own proprietary technology, which okay. is far more advanced than any other system that's out there. It doesn't try to look for your hands or sense your hands, because all those kind of approaches that use cameras, yeah. they're very brittle, they're very sensitive to understanding where, is it really touching you or am I hovering right above it? So whenever I go up to it, uh, and say and just touch it, uh, the software will notice that. There we go. Makes me a little worried. If you're making a direct manipulation metaphor, like if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm suggesting to the user that this moves because I'm touching it and moving it, it better only happen when I'm actually getting that tactile response, when I'm feeling it. If you do it any time before, then it just, it actually shatters it quite a bit. Uh, here I can point, I've got an actual document. Uh, this is a Word document, so I can Go and step through this page by page, uh, see different things. You know, if something's interesting, I can blow that up, or I can just go back uh, to where I was. You know, touch screens have existed before. How come they haven't done things like this before? Well, it's because they usually suck. And the fidelity <laughs> of these systems are terrible. So I can have a, a PowerPoint presentation, and uh, there too, it's you know easy to step through different things. Uh, but of course, I don't have to do this in this one-dimensional form. I can have things laid out on this surface. <laughs> and, uh, hey. We can add a sublens here that accesses a different data set at the same time. Oh, there is no GPU. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, you can integrate multiple data sets together like this. Uh, I could have my sales data. You know, I, I talk about being able to look by region and product. Well, that kind of pivot navigation is also kind of a natural thing uh, to be able to do. Any type of you know, diagram or, or flow chart, you, know, you can go in and look at these things in a, in a very detailed way. Microscopy data, very similar, very high res imagery that we can zoom in on really quickly. <laughs> Some barometer chips. Uh, incredible this and uh, adjust, do some image processing there. This. We can even add a relative zoom so it becomes like a magnifying loop to the layer below it. Yes. Uh, it's fully multimedia. Uh, so if I go across, I think uh, somewhere here I've got uh, this is actually a video. Uh, so as soon as I play that, we're looking at, say, our new app, our promotional talk, promotion thing, talking about that. Happens to be for the, uh, uh, the, the touch capability. We like to deal with heavy data types, video, audio, basically toss them around that they are very simple objects. I can also, you know, let's say we have a bunch of slides and we're working together, figuring out how we want to order those in order to uh, make the presentation to a customer. I can go in and anything I point to, it let me just move that uh, and organize these things. Now, so whether that's a, a piece of work information that I want to do something with or uh, you know, a photo album, something like that, as soon as I've made those changes, those are just there. Now, we show this because once you have all these assets up on the screen, it becomes a big mess, right? So you need to start having organizational tools like this, like together and treat it as a cluster, shrink it down, and all like that, you know? So all the different type of information. I can even take and say, if I want to ink on here, uh, I've just touched that, you know, and say I want to circle this, say that's something important, uh, and then when I go back to the presentation mode, you know, as I zoom in and out, that's there, just exactly like, like you'd expect. Here, here's, like, here's some other things we can do. It's like a modern day Macbeth, isn't it? <laughs> so I can do control F, and right now if I do control F, it'll go online to Flickr, so I can bring this in front. And let's increase the resolution a bit, and then what I can do is flip this guy up. So you've totally developed the proprietary <laughs> software in conjunction with the screen itself. Exactly. Yeah. So there we go. I can over this, over there, and then I can just manipulate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> go like that. 
because it is as goofy as it looks. <laughs> and when I'm done with this, if I can find that slide, I just uh, point and it goes back and it's uh, uh, just like it was uh, when I got started.